Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Jessica. Um, I do a lot of mom related videos and all about fashion and lifestyle and cleaning and whatnot. So thank you for coming to my channel and coming back to my channel if you're already a subscriber. From the title of this video, yes, I am at Target and I'm trying on a lot of clothes. Now, most of these clothes you can find dupes for on Poshmark and I definitely recommend you doing that. But it is nice to see like the different styles that are in fashion right now so you know what to look for when you're looking on Poshmark. And this is quite a long video as you can see from the timestamp. I think it's about 10 minutes. So go ahead and pause this video, grab you a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and just sit back and relax. Okay, so I'm in the Target dressing room and they were kind enough to let me bring my cart in. So I have all these clothes. The first one is this really cute green sweater and most of these colors that I'm trying on are fall related, but obviously they're sweaters, so they'd be really good in the winter time as well. Uh, I usually go for black, so I am branching out in colors. So you guys should be very proud of me because I usually just wear black and tan and white. So this one is green and I actually really like this uh, sweater. It's not the softest material, but it fits well. And I like it with the sleeve pushed up and a corner tucked in. And okay, this one surprised me. I really like this red sweater. It's not the absolute softest material, just like the other one, but it is really comfy and very flattering. It's got that sort of um, crop top feel to it. And the V-neck is a nice addition as well. It's very flattering. I rolled up the sleeve and kind of bunched it up so that my watch and my jewelry showed. And that's one of those things you can really dress up or dress down with a sweater. And I really like implementing that. Moving on to the next sweater, this one was a little bit softer and I really like the details of it, but I'm not too, too crazy about the color on me, but I know this would look really good on somebody. Um, the collar is higher up around the neck and I think that's also super flattering for some women. Uh, I actually like collars like this because it's more, it covers more. I always keep that in mind, I'm very conservative. But uh, anyways, uh, these, these shoes are super cute. I will show those in a minute. But overall, I really like this sweater. It's not too low in the back, so you would not be able to wear these with leggings. But tucked in like this with the sleeve pulled up, that's awesome. And this one I really liked. It was really comfy. I think it's a good staple piece. And I have a bodysuit under this. And they actually have the bodysuits at Target. And I will talk about that in a little bit. But this... Uh, this is like fall to me. And this is also a, a big winter thing too because of the colors. And I have these on with booties, but I would, if, if it were me, I would wear tennis shoes with this instead or chucks. Now moving on to this turtleneck, it was, <clears throat> it's, not a, it's not a thin turtleneck. I would say it's pretty um, thick, but also thin at the same time. It's not like a sweater material. It's, it's thinner than that, but it's, it's kind of a staple piece. Um, I went for this green color. I've been really drawn to these green colors for some reason. And um, I think I probably could have sized up in this one. Um, but other than that, I really like it. And I think it would go really well underneath cardigans, as you will see in just a minute. But it is very tight fitting. I don't usually wear tight fitting clothes, but under a cardigan, I think this would be really nice. This is that cardigan that I was telling you about would look really good with this turtleneck. Um, it's kind of a beige material uh, color and the material is really soft. Uh, it has it's got a good flow to it, you know what I mean? It's just really flattering and the little strap in the back keeps it from hanging too far in the front. I hate when cardigans do that, but this is a really flattering one and at a good price. Um, and I think I could probably find this on Poshmark. Now this, I am in love with this shirt, but I kind of have one already like it. But the details on this, I don't know if you can see it from the video, but the crochet, detail on the front and then the the sleeves oh my gosh it's just this would be really cute with um a skirt 
and some heels or, uh, or something like that. You could dress it up, dress it down. You could wear it to a party. This would be really good for Thanksgiving because it's so flowy and not constraining. And I have it paired with this, this um, leather jacket. I don't think it's real leather. I think it's faux leather, but uh, it's got some really great details on the sleeves. You can see the zipper there. And uh, the zipper actually goes all the way up to the neckline and it's got snaps. I probably wouldn't zip it up. I'd like it open like this, but you always have that option. And it was not constraining like some faux leather jackets are or even leather jackets like you can actually move in it which I was really surprised so this is a great price for one of these and again a staple in your closet speaking of staples this black cardigan mm, I'm telling you this is awesome I love this cardigan it's got the pockets I actually like this better than the beige one but Maybe it's the black that I'm drawn to. Like I said earlier, I just love black clothing in winter. I don't know why. I usually wear lots of colors in the summer, but during winter, I like the black. Um, I have this paired with my skinny jeans from Gap and my boots from uh, Free People. But And this um, here I am showing off this bodysuit and it's really nice it has straps and then it's really clingy to the body but I would size up because this was like really tight <laughs> and moving on this is another sweater and this one is super super soft and don't you just love this color it just screams fall um, the knitting is not too tight um, tightly knitted it's got it kind of a loose but it's not holy if that makes sense like the, if you were to go out in the wind, it wouldn't go through it like some sweaters, I think. So it's really well made. And I like the, the neckline too, because when you bend over to pick up your kids, you're not going to get an eye full of boobs. So that is always a plus for me. Okay, guys, this sweater I love. The outside of it is super, super soft. The only thing I don't like about it is the inside. It's got that scratchy material that I don't like. Uh, but other than that, I really like the fit of this sweater. I think I could probably might find something similar to it um, on Poshmark or just wait until th this season dies out to buy this. But I definitely really want this in my wardrobe. It's a crop fit and it's just super flattering as you can see. Now this next one is super, super soft. I think this was the softest one that I tried on. And I, I can't justify buying this because I have a very similar one already. But if you guys go to Target, you'll have to look for this. It is super, super soft. And it's one of those things you just wanna curl up with on a, like a snowy winter day. I had this paired with some black jeans from target i in these super cute shoes um i showed you a little clip there um but any anyways these jeans are adorable i like them but i don't really like the fit of them i like the details but i wouldn't just go out and buy these but they might fit somebody else really well now i wanted to try this jacket on with a sweater because I just, you know, when you're wearing a jacket, you're going to be wearing a sweater under it. So I think that's really important to try them both on together. I was really shook with this because this reminds me of my North Face jacket. And this is like a fraction of a cost of a North Face jacket. Super warm. Now I saved the best for last. This is awesome, you guys. And this is an easy dupe for like, you could just buy a men's flannel shirt and I'm pretty sure it would fit the same way. It's just super oversized and slouchy and it's soft material wearing a bodysuit underneath and some skinny jeans and boots and you, girl you got a really cute outfit and this is such a mom outfit i mean don't you think okay that wasn't the last one this is the last one and i definitely say the last one or the best for last this sweater is so soft and that material that super soft material is throughout the whole thing except for the pocket area. I will be buying this. I am not kidding. I have to have this in my wardrobe. It is so soft. I would probably wear it every day if I could. And it's got a hood. I mean, how can you beat that? 
And I also wanted to point out they have some really cute tennis shoes. Um, when I was looking, after I tried on some things, I noticed these. I wanted to show you these. These are awesome. These look amazing. And I couldn't help but go to the kids section because I do have three kids. And they have some really cute boots for girls. Oh my gosh, look at all these. But I have seen some boots like this on Poshmark. No kidding. Because I just bought some for my daughter on Poshmark. And it just makes sense to buy these on Poshmark instead of in the store because you know what? They're going to get dirty anyway and worn out. And how fast do kids go through boots? Super fast. But look at these cute little boots. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was it. That was my entire try on for Target. And I hope you found it inspiring and maybe you can find some dupes on Poshmark. And if you do, let me know in the comments below. But also, if you want to see more Target try on um, try-ons like this let me know because I only took back like a fraction of what they had so if you want me to do more that is totally feasible I would love to do that I love making these types of videos and if you enjoyed it and you want to see more you'll have to subscribe because I have three more stores that I did that day uh, Maurice and American Eagle and JC Penny so if you want to see those, you'll have to subscribe and come back next week. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.